Hi, I'm Monique with Seymour Duncan, and I'm going to walk you through the setup and basic usage of our newest product, the HyperSwitch. The HyperSwitch can replace any standard three-way, four-way, or five-way blade switches commonly found on Stratocaster-type guitars. First, you're going to download the HyperSwitch app for your phone or mobile device. Make sure the Bluetooth is enabled on your device. Open the HyperSwitch app. Click Connect on the home page of the app. Flip the five-way switch back and forth three to five times to switch the Bluetooth on. To preserve battery power, the switch has a low signal radio. For best results, the guitar should stay within two to four feet of the device. If you get a fail to connect message, try the following troubleshooting tips. First, you can try moving the switch positions back and forth several times through all switch positions. Second, move closer to the guitar. Finally, check and replace the battery. The battery needs to have a 65% or better voltage to power the Bluetooth. In a few seconds, the app will pair with the hyper switch. When it pairs for the first time, it'll ask you to create an account. Enter an email that you would like to use for your account, check the box to approve the terms and conditions, and press continue. Next, you're going to get a verification code sent to your email. On the next screen, enter the code and click continue. On the next screen, you can edit your profile, add an image, or you can skip all that and do it later. You'll be taken back to the home screen, where you can now pair with your HyperSwitch. Swipe the HyperSwitch back and forth completely through all five positions, three to five times, to turn on the Bluetooth radio in the HyperSwitch. If you're pairing for the first time or have logged off and are logging on again, HyperSwitch will show a list of available devices. More than one device will show if you have more than one guitar equipped with a HyperSwitch and you had previously paired with that switch. Touch the one that is for the switch you would like to pair with. After tapping on your device name for the first time, the Welcome to the Tutorial screen appears. We recommend checking out the tutorial for a brief introduction to the features and locations of important HyperSwitch controls. Following the tutorial, you'll be brought to the Pickup Configuration screen. The main window defaults to three single coil pickups and a standard Stratocaster configuration, or to the last preset that was used. To set up HyperSwitch to use with the pickups installed in your guitar, tap on the menu icon in the upper left corner. The menu screen will then appear. To set up for your guitar, tap on Device Settings. Then tap on Pickup Settings. For each position, choose the type of pickup you have from the drop-down menu. With each position, you can choose None. If you don't have a pickup in that particular location on your guitar, probably most useful for the middle position if you only have a two pickup guitar. Single coil. For standard Strat and Tele single coils or P90 pickups. Strat size humbuckers. For models like our Little 59, JB Jr., or Red Devils, or even our Rails models like Hot Rails and Cool Rails. Humbucker. For full sized humbuckers. Stacked. For our hum canceling stacked pickups like the YJM Furies, Classic Stack Plus, Vintage Hot Stack Plus, Custom Stack Plus for Strat, or Vintage Stacks for Telecaster. P-Rails, for a unique and versatile P90 slash rail humbucking pickups. For today's demo, I'm going to pick two Strat-sized humbuckers and a regular humbucking pickup. When you've chosen the type of pickup for each position, return to the Device Settings menu by tapping the back arrow in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Next, from the Device Settings menu, choose the number of tone controls you have on your guitar by tapping the up or down arrow. When you've configured your pickups and tone control, you can go to the Pickup Configuration page and start experimenting. Another function of the HyperSwitch is the Sleep Timer. Set the time that you would like the HyperSwitch to enter sleep mode. When the HyperSwitch is in sleep mode, the battery is drawing minimal power, but no signal will pass through the switch. The default is set to 180 minutes or 3 hours. For longer gigs and sessions, you may want to increase the sleep timer. The HyperSwitch will only enter sleep mode if the switch position has not been changed within the time that this is set. Some guitars have a really small cavity. In those cases, you'll have to install the switch backwards. That's where the switch reverse comes in. Activating switch reverse will correspondingly change what was stored in position 1 to position 5, position 2 to position 4, etc. To extend battery life, the transmitter that pairs with your phone or mobile device will turn off automatically after the number of minutes set for Bluetooth timeout if the switch has not changed positions within that time. You can tap on device information to find the current app software version. Click here to go to the firmware upgrade mode. You can also factory reset your device if you need to. This will reset to factory settings. Reset will erase any presets as well as the current pickup and tone control configuration. In application settings, you can find more info about FAQs, support, terms and conditions, edit your profile, and log out. The preset menu is where all of your presets will be stored. You can assign unique names and there is no limit to the number of presets you can store. We will dive into presets in another chapter, but this is where you can find them.
On the pickup configuration page, you can select which pickups or coils from each pickup you would like to assign to each switch position. We number each position as position one being closest to the bridge and position five being closest to the neck. To begin a new switch configuration, move the hyper switch to the desired switch position. The switch position icon on the app will indicate which position the physical switch on the guitar is currently set. Then you'll select your desired pickup wiring. For the neck pickup, I'm gonna go with the full uh, humbucking pickup. For position four, I'm gonna use a combo of the neck and the middle position, both at their full capacity. For the middle position, I'm gonna keep that standard for the full output. Then for position two, it's gonna be a combo of full of both the middle and the bridge save and then i'm going to keep a full position humbucker in the first position assigning pickups can be done one of three ways first by tapping the coils in the pickup configuration page and cycling through the options until the desired wiring style is highlighted or simply clicking on the desired wiring style below the pickup diagram finally by tapping and holding on a pickup will bring up a drop down menu you can choose from the available coil combinations when you select the pickup type. You can also include tone control settings to each patch. For each setting, you can include the following. Dim, the tone control is bypassed. Stock tone control. The tone control on your guitar will operate the stock tone control. Blue, a 0.027 value capacitor is wired in series to give you a different taper to your stock tone control. If you have a 0.047 capacitor as stock on your tone control, this setting will change the tone control to 0.017 and will keep more treble in while rolling down the tone control. And if you have two tone controls, you can have both activated to affect the current patch. The switch position indicator is only an indicator and will reflect whatever position your hyper switch selector is at on the guitar. The save button will save the patch that's on the screen. The Save Preset button will save all of the patches, one through five as a bundled preset. Creating presets for your HyperSwitch is really easy. Let's take a look. I'm gonna show you how you assign all the patches you assign to each position into a bundle, which we call a preset. To begin from the home screen, make your pickup selection and hit save for all five positions. Saving the presets allows you to set up the various sounds and configurations you create so you can quickly recall them later on. So let's create a sample preset. I'm gonna go in and assign the north coils to position five, the south coils with the full pickup of the neck pickup to position four, keep the full coils for position three. We're gonna keep the north coil and the middle position pickup and a reverse for the bridge pickup for position two. And we will just keep the position one pickup as the bridge pickup. Hit save preset and a text box will open. Give this preset a name, we'll call this one test. Hit save and now it's been saved to the hyper switch. Go back to the menu, look under presets, hit load presets and the list of everything you've created Will be there waiting for you to call up. I'm going to give you a basic overview of how a humbucker works so you can see the versatility of the hyper switch. The standard configuration for a humbucker is to keep the coils in series. You can also just use the north coil and turn the south coil off. Now we're gonna do the north coil reverse wind direction. You can turn both the coils off and use the hyper switch like a kill switch. If you have any other questions or comments, be sure to visit the Seymour Duncan website. Thanks for watching.